You get here in 50 days. Um, yeah. I'll be back in 49. So. Make sure you do. Because I get in. Um, I'll be expecting to live from the airport. All, All right. right I'll, um, love you. I'll touch you a bit. Bye bye. See you in 50 days. <laughs> bye bye. Bye. So, just about to set off. I can't actually believe today's finally here. It's just kind of started out as a joke, and now we're going to attempt to cycle to Perth. I have to be back. 50 days later, it's because my mum stepped out of here. I'm just hoping to at least make it a week. <laughs> It'll be really embarrassing if I don't even make the first day. So um, we'll take it one day at a time. Time to hit the road. <laughs> 40 minutes in, first disaster. One of the paneer bags fell off. Uh, not ideal. Um, I'm not sure how it came off, but beds come off where I am now rather than on the motorway. So uh, I'm going to put it back on and we go on our way. Even like the first thing I've noticed, obviously I haven't ridden this bike with all the bags on it, which is very stupid. Uh, it's just how heavy it is compared to normal. It sounds really really obvious but um it is so much heavier than riding with nothing on it um so the rides itself are going to be that much trickier um and they're going to be a little bit more trickier if my bags keep on falling off so hopefully i can <laughs> secure it properly this time just finished from sutherland to Scarborough Hotel via the Seacliff Bridge. It's pretty epic going on there. Definitely didn't pack enough water. I'll make sure I have an, an extra bottle um, for tomorrow. But yeah, just gonna have some lunch here and then hit down through Wollongong, find a stop Kayama. Slightly later than expected. The chain came off twice, but I got to stop one. So uh, total embarrassment is now gone away. Yeah, just 49 more to go. I'm gonna go have a beer, get to bed, and uh, we go again tomorrow. in Kayama at the moment. Our final stop today is Molly Mook. I'm hoping the chain lasts until I, I, I get there, otherwise that'll be a bit bit frustrating, but um, we'll just see what happens. Thankfully there's a really cute coffee shop next to where I'm staying open, so that's going to fuel me for the first bit, but yeah, we'll just get on the road and see how, how the legs and the bike hold up. So we're at stop one of the day, just got to Shoalhaven Heads. Seven mile beach was pretty spectacular. But yeah, feeling pretty good so far, but it is very early in the day. So still lots of time for stuff to go wrong. <laughs> Nearly fell off. Just going up this little curb here. It's literally tiny. Found part of the issue. So my rack is meant to be halfway up the frame and it slipped down. So I'm just going to take everything off and reattach it higher up. Hopefully that'll do the job for now. And it's just started raining. What a perfect time. 
anyway, back in business. I knew the swimming was going too well. I knew something had to happen. It all gone swimmingly. It's about to stop and have a donut to celebrate. I still will. I still will. Um, yeah, right. Back to it. We go a different way. <laughs> we get, we get one. Literally found this place as soon as I turned off the road. Literally a donut shop. <laughs> the donut gods were looking out for me. Thank you. <laughs> Good donut. So I've got to Mollymook. Day two in the bag. First two parts of the day went really well other than the, um, than the rack in the bag situation. After I had that donut, it just dragged. Other than that, relative success. I still feel like something monumental is gonna happen. Not that I wanna jinx it, but I've got a feeling. <laughs> Onwards and upwards, or downwards, we're actually going down. So yeah, so set, downwards. Downwards we go tomorrow. Right, I'm gonna get a beer. We got out of Molly Mook pretty sharp as this morning. The police were after me. And I wish I was joking. I went to bed at nine o'clock and then about quarter to ten, a bang, bang, bang on the door. I presumed it was like next door, like someone had forgotten their key or something. And then a couple of minutes later, bang, bang, bang on the door. I was like, that's definitely my door. Who the hell is banging for me? Open the door, there's two police officers stood there. Are you Matt Thomas, roommate? I was like, yes, that's me. We've come because for a legal use of a drone. It's like, okay. And what had happened, about like two hours earlier, I'd already filmed some drone shots down in Aladala, but I realized that it hadn't quite got Molly McBeach, right? So I was like, oh, I'll quickly get them from the motel. And so I went into the car park, put the drone up. There was no one around car park was empty but it turns out the uh, owner of the motel also lives at the motel and they'd have seen me doing it but what was nice was they didn't come out and say anything to me they they called the police we then turned up and banged on my door um but they were lovely to be fair police were lovely yeah matt thomas was a wanted man in molly Mook last night true story ladies and gentlemen we have our first pool It is gone. It also happened going downhill at quite a pace. I was quite lucky. This is a real test of the YouTube videos I've watched um, and whether I actually learned anything. This could take me a bit of time. <laughs> right, bags off. Rack off. Now for the trickier bit. Wow. Clean off. New inner tube fitted, pumped up, I think, or I hope. Now to put it actually on. Hopefully my, my repair job has done has done the trick. Slow and steady, I think now. Pray for Matty and his back wheel. Just got in to Naruma on, on a coastal route, just stunning. A couple of those towns are beautiful. But the highlight was I just stopped at a shop in a town on the way. This woman just came up to me and started chatting, and she'd bike packed from Perth to Sydney as well. She gave me some advice on what to do, and it was just really nice chatting with her. About 10 minutes later, after I'd cycled off, the car went past me, then stopped. She jumped out and she'd written her name and number um, on a bit of paper. She said, look, I'm, I'm around for the next eight weeks before I go off on my next trip. If you need anything at all, give me a call. After she gave me her, her name and number and she drove off, I got a little bit emotional. <laughs> like, oh, that was just so lovely. Real simple, nice thing to do, but um, 
really made my day. So yeah, thank you, Christy. Day three done, and we go again tomorrow. 47 days to go.